Hello and welcome. This is Today in the News. Here are the highlights. In excess of our voting will continue to mark country's election until voters and connivance with politicians stop bypassing beavers. Ahead general elections, Presidential Campaign Council of APC launches application called Thinking Caps. Second in command to DPO of Adiwe Police Station, tell Lagos High Court he disarmed police officer who allegedly shot dead a lawyer. Men of Nigerian Immigration Service in Kaduna arrest at least 500 illegal immigrants in Zaria. The Independent National Electoral Commission says overvoting will continue to mar the country's election until voters in connivance with politicians stop bypassing the bimodal voter accreditation system, BIVAS. The State Resident Electoral Commissioner, Mutiu Agboke, was addressing a stakeholders' meeting ahead of the mock accreditation to be conducted on Saturday, 4th of February. The State Election Petitions Tribunal held on Friday last week declared Adegwe Goyetola as the duly elected governor of the state in the election held on 16th July last year. The majority judgment agreed with the petitioners that overvoting occurred in 10 local governments during the election. At the stakeholders' meeting, Mutia Agboke warned politicians and voters to shun bypassing beavers on election day. Ahead of the general election, the Presidential Campaign Council of the Ruling All Progressives Congress has launched an application called The Thinking Caps to bridge knowledge gap among young Nigerians. The app is also expected to educate and provide vital information as well as publish the requisite capacity to think out of the box and provide lasting solutions to diverse socio-economic challenges confronting the nation by the APC presidential candidate Bola Tinobu and his running mate Kashim Shatima. The young generation, otherwise known as Gen Z, are exposed to news in a different way to their parents or grandparents at the same age. Young people are consuming content around social issues and events almost constantly. It is due to this development that the APC Campaign Council is providing young people a platform that speaks to their curiosity. The second in command to the DPO of Ajiwe Police Station in Aja has told the Lagos High Court it was he who disarmed the police officer who allegedly shot dead a lawyer, Bolani Rahim, on Christmas Day last year. But the witness couldn't provide any information on whether any bullet was fired from the weapon in question. ASP Lucia Gonloron Shala is the fifth witness for the Lagos State Government prosecuting the trial, which is before Justice Ibirunke Harrison sitting at the Tafawa Balewa Square Annex in Igoshiri. He says he and the defendant were on patrol that day, but man in different routes. And that was when he returned to the station that someone rushed in to say that ASP Vandi had shot the pregnant lawyer. He says he then informed the DPO who then left to bring in the defendant from the hospital where he had been taken to. Men of the Nigerian Immigration Service in Kaduna State have arrested, have arrested at least 500 illegal immigrants in Zaria local government area. Operatives of the service have been on what they describe a special operation since the beginning of the year and the arrest was made after receiving actionable intelligence reports. Controller of the service in Kaduna, Liman Kila, who paraded the immigrants on Wednesday, say at least 65% of them are from Niger, while others are from Chad and other neighboring ECOWAS countries.